guys so today I would like to take you on a trip to Xi'an with me let's go So after an hour, I finally landed in Xi'an and the boys were already waiting for me at the airport. So we took a metro to the city, to the main city and it was really amazing that I managed to get a glimpse of Xi'an for 12 hours before Covid actually happened. So I was considered as lucky that I managed to go around without being affected. Always take this? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what do we call this. But in, in Thailand, we have something like this too. It's called tuk tuk. Oh, tuk tuk. Yeah. Tuk tuk. Yeah. Tuk tuk. 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 How much is this? Did you take this? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so cheap. Hmm. This is one of the famous restaurants. What's famous? What's famous? Can you know? The beef. This is bread. Oh, sure. Hungry. Everyone is doing it. Make it smaller. So tada! <laughs> so tired already. What is this? Beef. Beef. Halal. <laughs> what does it say here? I'm sorry that I couldn't show you the end product of that amazing food but because you know what my phone was dead because of the extreme cold weather but it's okay it still remains on my memory it's delicious now we are eating dumplings because it is said to be the best dumpling in Xi'an. This, this drink or what? What drink? This one or this one? What is this? So, if in Malaysia we have pisang goreng or goreng pisang, they also have it, but it's persimmons. Pisang kaki. Pisang goreng kaki. Eh, <laughs> pisang kaki goreng. <laughs> Okay guys, this this yellow thingy, please do not ask me what that is because I don't know. I really don't know. I just ate it and it is delicious. 
so it's okay if it tastes delicious means I don't have to know what that is so this thing is basically like wayang kulit that we have in Malaysia but do not ask me what is it about because I don't understand at all so now we are on our way to eat more food because in Xi'an there are many many delicious halal food so if you guys want to go there it is really encouraged and advisable if you want to just go to eat delicious Chinese food but because I only have like 12 hours of layover so I have to eat everything in that 12 hours which is crazy I only have like small small stomach I can't eat everything <laughs> This is another food that is so mysterious that I don't even know the name. Please do not ask me about this. But this food is like the one that we have in Malaysia is called Putu. Bambu, yes, the put bambu, but it's not sweet at all. So this is the drum tower that they have. They actually have a lot. I mean, not a lot. Maybe around two drum tower. This is used to. They used this back during the war, during the Ming Dynasty, I guess. I didn't know much about the history because it was really cool. I didn't even bother to read the descriptions. There's so many drums. Oh, snowman! Give me the snowman! That's so cute. What a very cute snowman. Olaf. <laughs> What is this place actually? Okay. Or during the Ming Ming Dynasty. Look at that street. It's so lively. Wow, I love this. There's a street, uh, the Hui Street, the one that we eat. Wow. I love this. <laughs> He's trying to make a snowman. Yeah. <laughs> It was freezing here and actually my phone is dead for a couple of hours because you know what it's raining and also snowing at the same time so the boys knew that i love hot chocolate during winter and rainy season so we made a bit of stop at the starbucks reserved in front of the bell tower thanks to alex it's free starbucks again so hi guys so right now i'm just gonna do a really a quick pit stop here before i leave to malaysia it's very beautiful here. It's quite cold here because it's been drizzling. Snow and rain. It's very pretty. I like it here. Yeah. <laughs> you can see the city from here. This is another museum of Bell Tower. That's cute. Shopping mall. <laughs> I love shopping mall.
So next is the barbecue, the most glorified barbecue of China, and it tastes amazing. You know what? I miss it. I really want to eat it right now, but you know, in Malaysia, it's difficult to get it. The taste is different. I actually prefer this in our satay. I'm sorry, Malaysia. Don't worry, we can on foot. Look at that burger king. It's so beautiful. <laughs> Like one of the most like, uh, famous tower here. Wow! Look at the tree. Yes, I want this tree. So beautiful. What is this? It's so pretty that I want to cry. Because <laughs> it's so beautiful. The only thing that came out, out of my mouth was beautiful and pretty because it is, it was really beautiful and colorful. I'm actually easily impressed by colorful things and that makes me, you know, want to cry because I never believe that I get the chance to actually visit there and experience the culture. I've never seen a place so beautiful like this. You know, it makes me feel like crying right now. It's so pretty. So basically I have to hurry back to airport because I have to catch my flight and the airport is quite far so I have to hurry. Special thanks to Alex, Kevin and Redding for bringing me on tour. It was amazing. So that's all for the video in Xi'an because I only have like 12 hours of layover and that's what I did for the whole trip. I had so much fun and definitely going to come back.